Kasha Miki Joe Safe interprets Kara's dreams and is made second to the king. He is put in charge of saving food during the seven years of plenty at Mitzrayim while food during the seven years of famine. During the famine, the Shvetim come to Mitzrayim to get food. Uses accuses them of being spies. He asks them to get Benjamin to prove their innocence. Once they bring Benjamin down, Yosef sends them back home with plenty of food, but it has his guards hide his goblet in Benjamin's sack. Yosef has his guards chase after them and accuses them of stealing. When, it, when the goblet is found in Benjamin's sack, in Benjamin's bag, the brothers panic. Then the Parsha ends. It doesn't finish the story. We have to wait until the next Parsha to find out the end of the story. Why are the Parsha split like this? Why did we stop right before the story ends? The Chavetz Chaim teaches us to think from the perspective of the Shvetim. Imagine how confused they must have felt about all these events. Then, poof! They hear a new Yosef and it all makes sense. Some things, sometimes things happen in our lives or in the world that make us confused. We don't understand how there could ever be a good reason for them. That is how the Shvetim must have felt. We must realize that our Shvetim is running right the world and there's always a good answer, but sometimes we have to wait until the next pressure longer to find out what it is. Shabbat Shalom.